I have a Sam's Club haul to share with you guys today. I think the total was 700, but like with most hauls, I will pop up the individual prices so you guys can see how it all adds up. I definitely realized um, we used the Scan & Go for the first time, which is crazy. We should have been using Scan & Go from the get-go. It was fantastic, not having to wait in line or anything like that. We could just walk not right out we still had to show like our phone or whatever but it was a lot easier than standing in line unloading the cart loading the cart all of that thing so definitely if you guys haven't tried the skin and go do it um but it was interesting to see how it all like you get to that total we've never done that before so some of the things i realized are more expensive than they used to be some of the like the stuff that we get all the time so anyway let me turn you guys around i have it all over my dining room table and i'll show with you guys i'll share with you guys what we picked up from sam's club it is super late at night so i'm like I, I can notice all the shadows and stuff, so hopefully that's not too distracting, but I'll try to do my best to get through this with you guys so you guys can see all the goodies that we picked up. Okay, here's my table we got out of Sam's Club just about 30 minutes before closing. <laughs> so it is pretty late. Got some holiday stuff, super excited about. Um, no rhyme or reason, I just spread it out on the table. I had to stack some stuff, just did the best I could as items were brought in. So we'll just go ahead and start right here. Um, this is going to be a Christmas gift for somebody. This is a big pack of Pokemon cards. It has 14 TCG booster packs in here. And then you can see it's got these four little medallions. I'm not quite sure what they're called. Yeah, I don't know. And then it's got a big card. You can see these cards are open, but then it's got the 14 packs in here that you don't know what's in here. And this is Lucario and Tyranitar. <laughs> I have no idea. Heavy hitters premium collection. There you go. Um, this is a great price for Pokemon cards. I mainly, because we shop at Target um, the most often, their packs are pretty expensive. Um, so I thought the price was really great for this. Okay. Bryce has been loving a mixture of turkey and chicken as far as deli meat on sandwiches. So I got the members mark rotisserie season chicken breast. This is a 22 ounce package as well as the oven roasted turkey breast. Same thing, a 22 ounce package. So these are just going to be for sandwiches. And then speaking of Bryce, my goodness, you guys, he is now, well, he's been probably for a good, maybe a month, few weeks for sure, taller than me now. Yeah, so I'm 5'6". Um, he's going to be 13 in January, and he is now taller than me. Not by a whole lot, maybe like half a foot. I don't know. Maybe he's five, six and a half. I'm not quite sure yet. We need to get him on our little uh, measuring chart board that we have in the house and see what he is. But I needed to get him some more pants. I picked him up some from Ross and I got him a men's medium and they were just a tad. They fit him, but he said he was a little uncomfortable. He needed them to be a little bit bigger just so he felt comfortable in them. So I got a large in these pants, a little bit more on the pricier side, I feel like, but Under Armour, I know he likes that brand and I know he's going to love these. They're like a, a jogger material. So they're not going to be super hot or anything like that for him. It's got a zippered pocket here on both sides, I believe. Yes. And then a drawstring and they're just little jogger pants for him. But with the, the cold weather starting to come in a little bit, I mean, it was 78 today, um, but still I'll take it versus like 109. <laughs> so we'll take, we'll take the eighties and the seventies and all of that, but he is going to need some pants um, as the weather really starts to cool off. So I got him that pair. Pearl really likes the small cucumbers. I feel like she likes the ones that are a little smaller than this, but I went ahead and picked these up. She still enjoys these. She found this really cool, I think it was like a little TikTok video, a way to cut it to where it's one piece, but it looks like an accordion. Um, she did it the last time we had this size. The last time I got mini cucumbers, they were really, really tiny. They look like little gherkin pickles. Um, but the last time I got this size, she did that too. And she loved doing that. So I went ahead and got these again. I thought she would get a kick out of seeing these and being able to cut them in that little cool way that she did. But these are just the scrumptious mini cucumbers. I did get some holiday stuff. I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to throw this stuff in the freezer or not, because I have no idea what we're doing. I know we're hosting Christmas dinner but that's more like immediate family. It's not a big hoo-ha or anything like that, like a bunch of people coming over. But I don't know about 
what I'm taking to where we're having Thanksgiving or celebrating Thanksgiving. Same with like Friendsgiving. I don't know if we're gonna have anything, any other items or parties over at our house, but I did go ahead and pick up some fun stuff and we don't have to have a party to enjoy this. I can make this for just my family. So I got this, I love Brie. I'm a huge cheese fan, but this is, I've never had like a sweet topping on a brie like this before. So this is caramel pecan topped brie. Normally I'll do like cranberry sauce or something like that, but never like a, a caramel. So I thought that looked interesting. I'm gonna try that. We've got brie cheese here and then the caramel topping right there. So if you wanted to, you could use those separately. And then this looked really good too. This is a jalapeno popper dip kit. So it has a jalapeno popper base, some bacon bits, and then cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese blend. And it looks like you heat it up in um, the oven. Oh, it says, oh, tray is not oven safe or microwavable. Okay, well, use your own dish, but I feel like that's gonna be good in the oven. And then I got some burrata. You guys, I feel like Trader Joe's, I'm gonna have to double check. I have it on my list to go to Trader Joe's. We're kind of just stocking up on our favorites right now. Um, so Trader Joe's isn't gonna be like a normal grocery haul where I have a list or anything. I'm just going see what they got, get my favorites, all the things. Um, but normally I get their burrata. This is, and it's one or two, it's two balls, I believe. And I think the price is more than this for four balls. I'll have to double check when I'm there. Um, but you get four, four ounce balls of burrata. And I just recently found a new recipe that I wanna try with this. Um, so I'm excited about that. We'll have that as like an appetizer on the side of a dinner one night, or maybe, you know, depending on get togethers and stuff like that. I'll make this when we have some extra people over. Uh, this is a must pick up every time and they are on sale. Um, with this scan and go, I won't know until I'm sitting down and editing how it shows me, um, but hopefully I can pop up the sale price, like what I actually paid for it. And it doesn't, it'll show me like what was on sale and what wasn't. But anyway, we love these, these old Wisconsin snack sticks and they do have beef. If you are a beef fan, um, we've had both and everybody in the house prefers a turkey. So I went ahead and got those. Uh, this is something that we picked up for our older dog at Buford. He definitely um, has a lot of joint pain and these types of uh, supplements really help him out. So this is the maximum strength joint support and there's 180 chewable tablets in there. I got some bread. I did not opt to get the Sara Lee Artisano bread. I just, with Bryce, eating sandwiches almost every single day, we're definitely going through the bread. So I just opted for a little bit of a cheaper route and a thinner bread. The Sara Lee bread is pretty thick. So I went for a thinner option. This is just the Mrs. Baird sandwich bread. You get two of them. And then speaking of two, I did go ahead and get two gallons of milk. That's typically what we go through in um, a little over a week. So two gallons of whole milk. This was something that we saw and I thought of Rose and Pearl. Anytime we go to a restaurant or uh, if we're ordering from a restaurant, not like fast food, but from a restaurant and they have fried pickles as an option, we have to get them. They enjoy them. I enjoy fried pickles too. We went ahead and picked these up for the girls to try. It's fried pickles with ranch. I feel like these look familiar, but I'm not sure if we've picked these up before. Maybe it was something else pickly, but I went ahead and got those. I thought the girls would enjoy them. And then all three of my uh, kiddos at home wear glasses and we are getting low on the lens wipes. So I went ahead and picked these up. It's 250 individually wrapped lens wipes and we have them all over the house. The kids have some in their bathrooms. I try to keep a couple in my purse. I try to tell the girls to keep a couple in their little purses that they like to take um, out and about sometimes. So needed some more of those. All right, I am not out of my collagen. This is the one brand that I buy all the time. I just love it. I like that it's unflavored. I can mix it with anything and it dissolves perfectly in coffee. There's no clumping, nothing like that. I rave about this every time I buy it. But I bought a smaller container. I, I think I got it at HEB probably and I'm not out. I'm probably like halfway through, but this was on sale and I know by the time I get around to buying one, it's not gonna be on sale anymore. So I went ahead and picked it up just because I, I use this every single morning in my coffee. So got that. Another thing for the dogs, I'm like, Buford's right here on the ground. So I'm like walking around him. I can't just bend over the table like I normally do. Um, I went ahead and got some treats for them. 
they get one treat a day and I like to give them one. I don't give them like the little itty bitty treats several times a day or anything like that. I just, I like to get one that takes them a little bit. So it's kind of like getting a little bit of their energy out. So I went ahead and got these Parina Busy Bones. It's a value pack 18 in here. It says twisted long lasting chew. So I went ahead and got that for them. Down here to some fruit. I got a big old container of blackberries. These look so good. Rose is gonna dive right into those. She's really loving the blackberries right now. Uh, strawberries, have to get strawberries every single week pretty much. Um, Bryce loves strawberries, Mark loves strawberries. The girls go for other fruit first, but they do like strawberries as well. So went ahead and got that. And Driscoll's is just our favorite brand. I mean, it always, their fruit just always looks fantastic. And then I got some figs. I've actually never purchased figs in a container like this before. So that was kind of interesting. I'll probably open these up and cut them and just prep them a little bit and put them into a different like fridge container instead of in this thing because I feel like they're going to get smushed or something like that. The kids opening these all the time. But that was really interesting. This little container. These are black mission figs. So uh, Pearl and I love when it's fig season. They are so, so yummy. Coming over here, flavor bombs. All the kids love to snack on tomatoes. And these definitely have a really, really good flavor. So we pick these up um, constantly whenever we go to Sam's Club and we want some tomatoes. They're super yummy. We don't use these in recipes or anything like that. We just, just for snacking. All right, I'm gonna start trying to have a glass of water in the morning before I have my coffee. Just a little, trying to make some little healthier changes. Um, and I'm gonna do like a half a lemon, a half a lime or a quarter. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet. It just depends because I don't want it to be too sour for me. Um, but I did go ahead and get a bag of lemons and a bag of limes. I think Mark's gonna do the same thing. Start having like fresh lemon and lime water in the morning. So we got two big bags for those. I think it was a dollar difference between the two. Love to keep spaghetti in the pantry. And I think, I don't think we have any. I think I used the last one the other day. We had some extra kiddos over. I made some spaghetti. So went ahead and got this little six pack of the pantry pack. This is perfect for us. Um, I needed some more Clorox too. I like to keep two of everything and that way I just never run out. So I just recently opened my backup. So I need a new backup. So Clorox too, that is for laundry. Uh, finished off our egg rolls. I think that we finished them off last week or the week before. So I knew we needed some more of those. I like to keep these in the freezer to throw on the side of any like any rice dish really. The kids love having egg rolls when we have rice. All right, this was something, I don't think they had this last year. If they did, it was different flavors. I am a huge, Stella Rosa is my favorite brand when it comes to wine. They are just super, super delicious. They are definitely a sweet wine. If you're not into sweet wines, you are not gonna like Stella Rosa, but they are my favorite. I love them, They're more of like a dessert wine. And I saw that they had this little pack. I'm not gonna keep it as a pack, I'm gonna break it up. Um, some might be gifts. I love Stella Rosa, so I knew this needed to come home. Um, mainly because I've never seen the lemon lime flavor. I've never tried that and I want to. I've had these other flavors, they're all delicious. So there's, Five, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. There's five in here, and like I said, I've never tried the lemon lime, so I'm excited about that. What size are these? It doesn't say right here, and I've got too much on the table to look around, but they're little small bottles of wine. So I did need to pick that up, or not need, but wanted to. Got some Totino's pizza rolls combination. They do have the pepperoni as well. My kids prefer combination, and these bags are great. Um, there's 160 rolls total. I just pushed the cat off the chair on accident. He was sitting in the chair and I knocked him. Um, but there's two bags in here. So there's a bag of 80 or two bags of 80 rolls in there, which is great when you have extra kiddos over or, you know, just make one bag and have leftovers and stuff like that. We've done that before with the kids. All right, this clearly Canadian, I was super excited to find. I've never seen this before. I don't even know if I've ever had one of these. I'm not sure if I have, I'm sure I have, but it's been a long, long time. Um, but I actually got this as a gift and I'm keeping it in this big box. I'm not taking any out or anything like that. Um, so that is actually going as a gift. It is a variety pack. There's three of the mountain, uh, mountain blackberry, three of the wild cherry, three of the orchard peach, and three of the country raspberry. So 12 in total, it says bottled in Canada. 
But yeah, that is a gift for somebody. I just saw that and immediately thought of a friend and I was like, I'm getting that. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun um, to gift that person. Mark wanted his monster, so we got a big pack of those. These are his favorite, the, um, what are the, the Zero Ultra Zero Sugar, the white can, that's all I know. He just likes the white can. There's 24 16 ounce energy drinks in there. Getting low on the paper plates, that's something we like to buy in bulk just so we have plenty all the time. There's 204 plates in there, the Members Mark brand, so we went ahead and picked those up. All right, this is something that you guys probably have never seen in a haul of mine. Um, I've never bought cat food like this before, but I like to tease and say that one of our cats, Stitch, he's actually right here, he was just sw um, swiping Oliver, who is right there, uh, but I always like to tease that he is part dog because he just likes to do a lot of things that the dogs like to do. He follows me around. He's part of my posse now here in the house. He likes to lay on the dog bed in the bedroom and just play out like a dog. <laughs> He's just part dog. Um, so when it comes to dinner time in the house, he comes, so he is Rose's cat. Rose, he has food, water upstairs. Rose feeds him, takes care of him, cleans his litter, all the things. But when it comes time to dinner time for the dogs, he comes downstairs begging me for something. So I've become um, accustomed to feeding him something for dinner as well. And I used to pick up individual little pouches. They were starting to get pricey. Riley, Bryce's cat has started to come down now for dinner time. It's a whole thing now. So I went ahead and picked this up and this is going to be for the cats who want dinner when it's dinner time for the dogs. So this is Perina, which is the same brand as their dry cat food that they get. Um, Frisky's Gravy Pleasers. There's 60 cans in here and I'm gonna split one can between, they don't get a whole lot, like I say dinner, but it's just so they feel like they're involved or a part of the dinner time with the dogs, you know? I hope that makes sense, but anyway, I went ahead and got these. I'm gonna split a can between Riley and Stitch. Um, there's 10 of each flavor in here and there's how many? Oh, and there's six flavors because there's 60 cans, duh. So there's six different flavors, but that'll last since I'm splitting it and they only get it once a day. That'll last me for two months, so that'll be nice. All right, coming back down over here, I did pick up a few like Fraser things just for quick, easy meal options. So I saw that this was on sale. I went ahead and picked this up. This is great to have in the freezer, especially when we have, this is way more than what we'll feed our family of five. Um, so this will be great to have as an option when it's like a last minute, hey, an extra kid or, kid or two is over at dinner time. So I don't have to feel like I have, normally our go-to is ordering pizza. And I'm just getting tired of doing that. So I wanna have bigger meal options, hence like spaghetti is always a good one. Lasagna is super easy. It takes like an hour to bake, but hey, that's how long it takes to order pizza and pizza to be delivered. So I went ahead and picked this up to have on hand. Um, it is the Stouffer's Signature Lasagna with meat and sauce. Bryce loves his chicken strips. So I went ahead and got a bag of the Ty Tyson Crispy Chicken Strips. He likes to put these in his little, um, not air fryer, although I should tell him to use the air fryer if he wants them a little crispier, but in the little um, toaster oven that I have for him. He likes to heat those up for lunchtime sometimes. All right, and then meatballs, I like to have these on hand also. It's just a quick, easy, easy option to bulk up spaghetti night. And we used the last of the bag the last time we had spaghetti. So I went ahead and got the Italian style, which is everybody's favorite, beef meatballs. I got some mayo, this was on sale, and I like to use, Bryce loves mayo on his sandwiches, but I buy the squeeze ones, and I feel like when I'm making like chicken salad or egg salad or tuna salad, you know, whatever, whenever I'm making any kind of salad or I need to put mayo in a recipe, the tub ones are just cheaper. So I went ahead and got this two pack since they were on sale, so I have them for when I make, when I need that for recipes. I went ahead and grabbed some gravy. Uh, like I said, I'm not quite sure what we're doing, but I like to have gravy on hand anyway. This isn't necessarily just for the holidays, you know? Like we can have this whenever <laughs> over open-faced turkey sandwiches or if we're having like mashed potatoes or whatever. So I went ahead and got this three pack of the Heinz turkey gravy. These are big though. These are like the value size. So I'll definitely have to pay attention and know like we're gonna have leftovers. So anyway, went ahead and got that. Uh, got some Pepto. This is a three pack. This is gonna last for uh, for a while, but we are almost out. So went ahead and grabbed it. There's three 12 ounce bottles in here. These are two nuts that we like to have on hand. I feel like these two are options that the kids both, or all the kids like both of these. So went ahead and got the whole cashews with sea salt. These are also great for munching on when you're when it's like game day, when we're playing games and stuff like that. 
And then also got some pistachios. This is also a favorite, a family favorite, the cashews and the pistachios. More fruit hiding back here. The apple pears, I love these, they're so good. So this is a six pack, pick those up. All right, back to some freezer items. Uh, I feel like breakfast is the hardest for everybody. So not everybody likes the same thing. So I went ahead and picked these up. There's only eight in there, so definitely won't last a super long time. But these are the Jimmy Dean Sweet Maple Griddle Cake. So there's, it's a maple pancake or two. two two pancakes with an egg that has cheese in it and a sausage. So a little pancake sausage and egg sandwich there. I know some of the kids will like those. And then over here, another item, just a breakfast option. Bryce really likes breakfast, breakfast burritos. So I went ahead and picked these up. There's 10 of them in there and it's sausage, egg, sausage, egg, sausage, and cheese. Why does it say sausage on there twice? Anyway, it's egg, sausage, and cheese in this little breakfast burrito. It's too late for me. I'm, I'm done, I'm tired. <laughs> and I still have to put all this stuff up. All right, <laughs> I think I pick this up almost every year. Uh, like I said, I just really like cheese. I don't think Mark and I are gonna use this as like an advent. I just wanted it for the cheeses. I thought they would be fun um, to try. And I think they're a little different this year. So there's two of each kind in here. So it looks like 12 different kinds. And I'm not gonna read them all, but if you wanted to, is it gonna focus if you wanted to screenshot and see what they were, but some of them like spiced apple cheddar, that sounds really good. There's a Mediterranean Gouda. Yeah, some of these I have not tried before, so I'm excited about that. Needed some more trash bags. We love the Members Mark brand, they work great. So I went ahead and got those 13 gallon, and how many are in here? 200, so that definitely lasts us a hot minute. Uh, toilet paper, running low on that. Charmin is my favorite brand. I just love it, Feel like, feels like it works great. <laughs> for everybody, feels good on your tush. So Charmin is definitely our favorite brand. And the toilet paper, there's 32 rolls in there, so that will last us a little bit. Coming down here, another item I like to have on backup is the Downy Unstoppables. I think these are on sale as well. So went ahead and got some more of those. Running low on dishwasher packs. This is not something that I keep as a backup. I just have one at a time, but we are running low. So I went ahead and got some more Members Mark. This brand works just fine, works perfectly. There's 105 in here, so I picked that up. All right, I went ahead and got some Alfredo sauce. I actually don't pick this up that often, but a long, like, was it over the summertime maybe? It was really popular where you take Alfredo sauce and you mix it with spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce, and then that's your sauce for your spaghetti, for your pasta night. And I did that a couple times and it's really, really good. I also like to add ground sausage and sauteed zucchini. Super, super delicious with any kind of pasta, filling, yummy meal. And I don't have any Alfredo. So I went ahead, I was thinking about that. So I was like, you know what? I wanna have some Alfredo in the pantry. So when I wanna just do a little change up to spaghetti night, we can. It doesn't have to be the same every time. So I feel like we have spaghetti like maybe twice a month, sometimes every week. It just depends on what we're doing. But anyway, wanted to have the Alfredo in the pantry so we could change up our spaghetti night. Got a bag of avocados. We like to have these on hand. Um, sometimes we'll do avocado toast. We'll whip up some guacamole. Um, add just a sliced avocado or diced up avocado to some of our dinners. Love the avocados, having those on hand. And then I just saw these and I was like, this would be great to have in the freezer as like an extra appetizer or if you know there's a little few kids over or whatever, um, lunch idea or hold on to until I know, you know, like an appetizer for a party or something. But Frank's in a blanket, there's 40 in there and it's beef and pork blend cocktail Frank in a puff pastry. And whew, hopefully, I didn't miss anything. I'm like quickly trying to glance. I don't think I did, but that's everything that we got from Sam's Club this go around. And with it going on 8.30, still haven't had dinner yet. The kids are at the grandparents for the weekend, so that's nice. Uh, but Mark and I need to get some dinner. Uh, but we also need to put this stuff up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this Sam's Club haul. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm not quite sure of the order of my videos, but I've been doing some more like deep clean, decluttering, organizing in rooms in the house with when I do the voiceover, I'll do like more of the Q and A because I didn't get to all those questions if you guys watched my last video. And then I'm also going to Trader Joe's. So I'll be sharing that coming up shortly as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.